Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling, where tag meets practicality. Today in this video, we are taking security to a new height, literally. And we are going to guide you through setting up your own high-performance outdoor civilian system using fiber optic cables. So we've got a lot to cover. Let's get started. Now, when setting up an outdoor surveillance system, picking the right type of camera is crucial. There are dune cameras, PDZ cameras, and bullet cameras. Each has its place. But for outdoor environment, bullet cameras all the way to go. They are weather resistant, offer excellent long-range visibility, and are easy to adjust. So they are perfect for keeping an eye on a wide open spaces. Now, if you're thinking about setting up a surveillance system but aren't sure which cameras to choose or how to design your system for optimal coverage, we're offering a free consultation to help you select the perfect cameras for your specific needs and to assist with designing a surveillance system that meets your requirements. Whether you're safeguarding your home, business, or anything in between, our expert team can guide you through the process and ensure you make the most informed decision. How do we ensure this bullet cameras can cover all possible angles? The answer is the back-to-back -back installation on a pole. Now, this configuration allows the cameras to have a 360 degrees view, making sure there's no blind spots. So bullet cameras are named for their sleek, streamlined shape, which is longer than it is right. And this distinct design includes a mounting bracket at the base and a protective casing that helps shield the lens and internal components from the elements. And the shape and mounting style makes bullet cameras particularly useful for outdoor installation, as they can easily mount it on walls poles or other vertical surfaces. And our bullet cameras are available in various resolutions, from 5 megapixel to 8 megapixels, providing sharp video recording that helps in clearly identifying faces, license plates, and other detail. And also, they feature adjustable lenses that allows users to zoom in and out and focus on specific areas without sacrificing image quality allows for a cover of wider areas, reducing the number of cameras needed for comprehensive coverage. Now, pole mounting is a popular method for installing various equipment, especially in the field of surveillance and telecommunications. This technique involves securing cameras to a vertical pole, which can be a standalone structure or part of existing infrastructure, such as street lights or utility poles. So choosing where to plant your surveillance pole is next. You will want maximum coverage. So consider high traffic areas, but keep in mind the distance limitation of copper cables, which are typically up to 100 meters. Beyond this distance, power loss may occur along with unstable data transmission. So that's where fiber optic cables come in. Unlike copper cables, Fiber optic cables can transmit data over kilometers without loss of quality, making them perfect for expensive outdoor setup. They are also immune to electromagnetic interference, which guarantee cleaner data transmission. So first, let's talk about the setup. You will need a switch to port fiber connection in your main control room, the fiber optic cable in between, the outdoor rated fiber switch and the SFP transceiver, and each of these components play a vital role. First, this SFP transceiver can enable compatibility with your specific network needs, and this is where you connect with the fiber optic cable. And behind, we have our outdoor fiber switch that can connect to multiple devices and also support power over Ethernet technology. That means it can supply power to the connected devices using a single Ethernet cable. And also, the fiber switch can change the Ethernet signal to fiber optic signal and back, allowing for long-range capability, making the whole setup centralized and secure.
In between, we have our pre-made fiber optic cable. Their factory terminated with the connectors and are ready to be installed without the need for field termination. And also, they come with various length and connector types to suit different applications. And when installing, make sure you handle the fiber optic cable with care. Although they are robust against data interference, but they can be physically delicate. So avoid sharp bends and use a protective conduit when installing. So let's do the connection from the beginning. We have our WebSmart PoE switch. It has 8 PoE port and 2 SFP slots. First, I'm going to connect it with our NVR. This is where all the video feed come together. Let's connect it to our switch. This is the SFP transceiver. I'm going to plug it into the SFP slot. And here we have our four string pre made fiber optic cable. We don't need to worry about the connector, just plug them into our SFP transceiver. Each string has a letter on them, so you won't mess them up. Let's plug in string A. So this side we are all set and done. Coming over here, we have our outdoor rated fiber switch. It has an IP67 outdoor waterproof rated casing. So inside we have our switch. It has four port and also the SFP slot. Same, we are going to plug in the SFP transceiver to here. And I'm going to plug in our fiber optic cable. This is the string A. Plug it in. And we are going to connect to three bullet cameras. So I am going to plug in three Ethernet cable to supply power and data for three of our bullet cameras. And the switch is already powered up. Now we can hear the sound of our bullet camera moving all using this single Ethernet cable. Let's give this a minute for the video feed to come up on the screen. So here we go, we have three cameras that are live on our big screen monitor. I'm going to wave my hand over there so you can see they are live video. Coming over to here. So since they're using a back-to-back -back connection, back-to-back -back installation, therefore we are covering a wide area. So now we're still looking at the live feed and let's explore the features. This one here is our very focal lens bullet camera. So we are going to go to the PDZ control. We can hit press button to zoom in on a specific detail. And also you can hit the minus button to zoom out for a wider angle. And also right click it, we can go to the main menu. Here is our record configuration. We can turn on the detection mode by select it. And also we can send you an alarm if you click on it. You can also select the time period that you want to record. And here we have the playback. Now we have the smart playback, face search, and also vehicle search if your NVR support. Then you can select the time and the date and click on it. Now we have the face. Notice how the system not only captures videos, but also smartly detects and categorizes objects. This means enhanced security as your system alerts you to human or vehicle activity, not just any motion. So there you have it, a state-of-the-art outdoor surveillance system powered by the speed and reliability of fiber optics. So you're not just installing cameras, you're setting up a smart,
comprehensive security solution. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insight. And feel free to drop any questions or feedback in the comment section below. And thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. And I'll see you in the next video.